All right, guys, this is going to fall firmly into the I cannot believe this category. The, let me tell you a story. Uh, about a month ago, a former boss of mine was passing through. He and his wife were traveling across the United States in their brand new quarter of a million dollar mobile home. Absolutely beautiful. And so, in fact, much nicer than the inside of my house. During his two-day stay, he didn't even bother to come in and stay in the guest room. He stayed out in the RV, and I don't blame him. He had huge TV. I mean, just absolutely stunning on the inside, but... One thing I wasn't so impressed with was his door lock. Now, this is not his. I bought one, I took a picture, and ordered from the same company. And this is absolutely identical to the door lock on a quarter million dollar RV. Um, I bought this from a company, got the key, bad little bag hardware. Um, bought it from a company called Leisure Locks. Apparently, this company supplies locks to about 90% of the RV industry. And, Couple things I don't like about this lock. First of all, pot metal on the outside and steel plate on the inside. We'll talk about that. But the way it works is you grab a hold of this do exterior door handle and it retracts the bolt and you can pull the door open. Um, you'll notice two locks here. The other lock controls a deadbolt. Let me flip this. You're now on the inside and the deadbolt right here, when you're inside at night, you obviously can't lock that. There's no key. It's on the outside. So that's got to be open. Then you would flip this lever to lock that. Now, what that does to me, it kind of transmits whether or not you're home. If somebody walks up and grabs the handle, but the door doesn't lock, that tells me that somebody from the inside probably flipped this lever to keep me out. They might have used the key, but it's a good indicator that somebody did it from the inside. Now, if both of them are locked, then that tells me that somebody's probably not home because you can't lock this one from the inside. So huge, huge telegraph. All right, how does it work? Um, obviously, you want to lock the handle, slide that in there, rotate it 90 degrees, pull it out, and now that handle is locked. Again, pot metal. You can break this as a single shaft right down the center here. You break that, and there is a actuator right there. I mean, it's hidden behind. As soon as you break this handle, all that pops out. So this would not be good for the single point of securing my quarter million dollar mobile home. Um, this guy here locks the deadbolt and you can see it works perfectly from outside or inside. All right, why am I not impressed? Take a look at this key. And I gotta tell you, I don't remember exactly what my buddy's key looked like, but it was very, very similar to this. Just, just a real junk in terms of bidding and in terms of a lock as well, if you can call these locks. So, again, let's take this guy, let's just put him right there. Take our rake and give him a couple of swishes and bam, we are in there. Hopefully the person inside has locked that deadbolt, but you know, if they did, really, I don't think it's gonna be too much of a problem. Again, we'll put him right there. A Little bit of tension on the thumb, slide in out, just like we did downstairs, and we can see the leather move, the lever on the inside move, but also, the bolt retracts, and we're definitely in. We now own a quarter million dollar motorhome. Not too impressive, guy. I got to say, there must be upgrades to these, like armed guards or wrap a chain around your motorhome. I don't know. There's got to be something, but this definitely is not the answer. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Stay away from leisure locks.